Welcome back. Tom Fischera is here. He's our the official sommelier at Vernon's Steakhouse. And Welcome. you said it right. She said yes. it right. Yeah, yeah, we had a test run. <laughs> we did. Yeah. Tom, yeah. We did. but he said you could also abbreviate SOM. The SOM, That's it. Tom. Yeah, <laughs> we're just, in the industry, we just call ourselves SOM. SOM, yeah. okay. But we can I'll say some, you know, it sounds fancy either way. It Never does. I like it. it and does. of course, you've got some very important safety tips for us today as we celebrate the holidays with some bubbly. I love mm -hmm. it. Now, the, the first question we have to ask you, because you told me this, and I, I don't know, are there really flying cork issues with the champagne? Well, I'll put it to you this way. Last year, nationwide, there was 15,000 emergency room visits that were directly related to champagne injuries. What? Wow. <laughs> oh it's, it's, just, it's just crazy. Well, were they already you know. drinking before they popped the cork? Well, you know, you, 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 know, you have people that play games. Right. You know, let me see how far I can shoot the cork. In fact, I think Sally, the producer, does that too. Oh, no. There. And um, also, sometimes when the cork breaks, people will say, okay, let's go in and with, a, you know, with a wine opener. And oh, get it out no. that way. Right. Okay, so right. which is a no no. Mm -hmm. A okay. bottle of champagne has twice the pressure of a tire on your car. What? Oh my gosh. Really? So uh, when it flies, they say it can come out over to about 110 miles an hour. Wow. You're kidding yeah. me. See, I would yeah. never yeah. know that. So, you know, and it's real easy. It's like, you know, when I do demonstrations, I was on the Food Network a couple of weeks ago, uh, about a couple of years ago, and right. I had a bottle of Dom Perignon and I was tossing it around and, you know, mm -hmm. and the people are going, you're going to open that now? <laughs> And it I'm doesn't going, make a yeah, it, no, well, it, it's it's all it's all in the style that you do it. You know, okay. you have to have it at a 45 degree angle. Okay. Really? Okay. Tip number You're one. Turn yeah. in the bottle, not the cork. Oh. Okay. 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 And the 45 degree angle is important because then the gases come out, oxygen comes in, and it just is a fizzle. You know that whole thing where you're popping, you know, where you're popping the champagne. That's yes. all Hollywood. Is right. it really? If you're spending 175 dollars a bottle of wine, why would you want a third of it on the floor? Yeah. Very good point. You know, yeah. makes, Very good point. It makes no sense at all. Now, mm -hmm. these are good if you want to christen a boat. <laughs> <laughs> all right. You, you want to you waste your money christening a boat? Go ahead and do it that way. No, um, we don't. We don't. But, I'm, you know, the reason why I'm doing this now is I'm going to show you because, you know, I'm being pretty aggressive with the bottle. You are. On there. And I'm I, wouldn't gonna, even, you know, I wouldn't do that with a soda can. Open mm -hmm. it up. Yeah, you definitely <laughs> don't do it with a soda can. Uh -huh. I'm going to open it up and show you, you know, really how simple yeah. it is. Yeah. On See, there. my sister says she's an expert, but I bet she's not because I bet there's a lot of things that you didn't realize. The 45-degree angle, that's a very interesting point. It you is. never mm -hmm. thought about that. And yeah. I'm just I'm just curious, does a Somalia actually uh, get the hazard pay when popping the cork just in case? Well, <laughs> um, we get to taste a little bit. Okay. You know? okay. <laughs> this is fun. Okay, so yeah. you just kind of just use something sharp to get well. The seal you know, off. a lot of the things that we're going to do is right before you approach the table, you're going to you okay. know you're going to do a little bit, uh, get that going for you, so you okay. don't have to go to the table like I just did with my pen. Okay. To right. get this thing started. Now, whether okay. it's a full bottle or half bottle, no matter where it's from, Spain, Italy, uh, America, France, yes. you know, when you have the netting, the wire netting on top, it, right. is, it is six turns six on there. Turns? Six turns? Six turns. One, okay. two, three, four, five, six. And the reason why that's important to know, because when you're at the table, you want to be talking to your guest. Right. So you're not looking at, okay, all right, when's it done? So I'm talking to you just one, two, so three, four, ah. five, six. Oh, oh, now. I'm Very done. interesting. Yeah. Okay. Right there, okay. Oh. So there's the 45 degree angle. Okay. <laughs> and you should see this cork wants to fly. If the camera can see how red my uh, hands are right You're there. You're holding real tight. Oh, let me back away. <laughs> and happy Friday. <laughs> just let it. So you keep your hand there just to kind of give it a little simmer down. And then that's it. Wow. Was that easy? Perfect. Oh my gosh! Yeah, yeah. It's that, wonderful. It's, really, it's that simple. And as you saw, I was tossing that ball. Uh -huh. yes. Now I've done this like four times on TV. Yeah. One time I had a disaster. Really? Yeah. What happened? It, it just champagne went flying oh, everywhere. No. So the, oh, the odds are low because it doesn't happen often. No, right? no, it doesn't. It doesn't. It, and is it hard to hold that when you were holding it in? So is, does it take a lot of strength? Did you to hold? see how yes, the blood yeah. was? I mean, it was really. It, this so thing, it would be tougher for us to do probably. This, yes. this thing wanted to fly. Yeah. I mean, it just really wanted to now, fly I think off. a lot of people want the sound. They want the dramatic mm -hmm. effect. So how, uh, I guess there really is no way to achieve that safety-wise, is there? No, there, is, <laughs> there, there really isn't. That's good and, to know. And again, you know, there's just, you know, this juice is so valuable. 
Um, yes. So much goes into it. You know, oh, the, yeah. the, these grapes are really expensive because you basically have three grapes that make champagnes. You mm -hmm. have a Chardonnay, a Pinot, no uh, Pinot Noir, and a Pinot Meunier. Oh. And when we get into our next segments, we're going to talk about, you know, the different champagnes, uh, the, all the Tatanjay that I have on display. Oh, Tatanjay is delicious. Which is one of my... Isn't that what, I had, what you brought me the other day? No, that was Veuve Clicquot. Oh, that was good, too. Yeah, that, that was good. Yes, I, I want to thank you on air for that. <laughs> Tatanjay, what I love about them, their bubbles are, uh, their, their signature on their bubbles are really, really, really fine. Well, will you come back That's, for New Year's Eve and talk about this I, so we I can will. share all these ideas yeah. with everybody Absolutely. while they're prepping for their mm -hmm. New Year's Eve out? And we're going to be opening up a bottle of champagne a little bit later on in the show for your birthday. Oh, all I'm right. very excited okay. about that. <laughs> and I definitely appreciate the advice. I know Christine yeah. does too. Thank but you. please, oh, please be aware of, you know, what it takes to open up a bottle of champagne. They're just real simple points. That 45 degree angle, yes. okay. turn in the bottle, turn in the bottle, not the cork, okay. uh, is incredibly important because we don't want you to be a statistic. Absolutely. You and know, those statistics no. are pretty riveting, there's, actually. Yeah, there's, yeah. You know, there's been no deaths that I know of, but there's definitely been blindness. Oh, I can imagine. Oh, well. yeah. yeah, it's not worth it. It's just not worth it. No. So yeah. let's take well, Tom's for tips. The tips. You're welcome. You're <laughs> and welcome. Vernon's Hidden Valley Steakhouse is at 6855 4th Street Northwest in Los Ranchos de Albuquerque. I tried <laughs> to say it fancy. We will be right back.